What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video i am going to be showing you how to manually install android 8.0 oreo update on your galaxy a set or the a set plus i did take my time in order to make this video cause it's a pretty complicated process for the newbies and as the data partitions have been completely changed for android oreo it's just not how it was before like you can just flash over it and it would just work flawlessly the odin had to be updated which has been now available yesterday so i can make this video but let's just continue so i'm right now running not the latest one but but actually the Oreo update which was first released in India as you can see Android 8.0 Oreo which is the crap version but now we are going to be updating it to the latest version just a quick note if you are switching countries then it is a must that you are going to be wiping your data so just in case I seriously recommend everyone to back up their data cards so we don't know whether your device is encrypted or not so let's just download the files by hopping to a PC so once you are onto the PC, I will leave a link in the descriptions for all the files that you need in this complete video. So first of all, you have to download the Samsung USB drivers and install it on your PC. Then just restart your PC once and then you have to just go to Chrome. As you can see over here, we are on the firmware page. Then over here, you have to just type in Galaxy AZ. There you go and if you scroll down you will have all the options from Galaxy set to the S8 Plus. Now as I live in India mine is the FD which is the F dual sim version. Let's just select that. You can just check your model number by going into the about phone section. Mine is 955 FD. Let's just search that. And these are all the firmware. So as you can see pretty much all of the countries actually are receiving the Android Oreo update which is just amazing on Samsung's part how they are fast. But uh, there you go there is the India, Germany. Now quick thing about India and Germany. Germany I guess has the most battery life and the India has the most feature pack. ROM for example Indian one actually has the Volti and again some of the Indian specific features and just a bit of smaller things over here and there which you will not actually notice in your day to day life but if you want the maximum battery life you can select with the Germany but as I live in India and I use Volti I will just go with India. Now it doesn't actually matter which country do you live in but if you want some country specific options you have to select your own country or you can just flash it anyways. Now in order to download this firmware you have to actually make an SAM mobile account. You can just wait and download with the normal or you can buy their premium but I would just select wait and download and you will begin 30 seconds. As you can see after a few hours I have finally downloaded the firmware. Then I have also extracted it with the 7-zip. Here it is. Here is the whole firmware. Then you have to also download Odin which is the latest version. Yes you have to use the latest version in order to install Android Oreo. It has a bit of updates. Now you can also flash user data which is a new for the Android Oreo. But just in case I will surely recommend all of you guys to reset your device cause Oreo may cause a lot of issues if you don't reset but quick tip over here if you have a slow ass PC you have to just go to AP cause it's a 3. 5 gig file and it takes a whole lot of time to load or it just crashes so you have to just go to rename and just delete .md file at the back of it and it will not calculate it will just add it so you have to just select all the respective stuff such as bootloader by going to the folder that must be on my desktop there you go bl open then you have to select ap then you have to select cp now for the CSC it's a bit tricky one cause you will find two CSC over here. Well if you are switching your countries for example if I live in Germany and if I want to come to India it will actually wipe your device and you have to select CSC. But as I already live in India and I am actually flashing an Indian firmware on my Indian Galaxy A set I have to just select home CSC and it will just do nothing cause the feature will just stay the same and it will not wipe anything at all. And then you have to just grab your Galaxy A set or the A set plus and just hold your power button, power it off. Once it does that, you have to just hold on your Bixby volume down and power button at the same time until you see this screen. And then you have to just press volume up. And then you have to just connect your phone to your PC just like this. And it would appear as a COM9 or the COM8. It just depends on your USB drivers. And then I have to select start. Now if you are like me who has a rooted galaxy set as I am doing right now it just might reset your phone so yeah I am seriously recommending to back up all of your data cause no one actually knows the data partitions for android oreo are extremely different than you get for your older galaxy s7 edge no cut update or the s6 and there you go after 3 to 2 minutes the update has been successfully installed manually and it will also do all of its stuff itself as you can see installing system update. As you could see this is what I was talking about. It will force you to reset. You can't just escape this. So yeah there goes all of my data which I have of course backed up in Samsung cloud. And just after 2 to 3 minutes we are back. So until I set this up I am going to explain again those who didn't understand what just happened. So if you haven't rooted your device when you are on no cut there is no need of resetting your device at all. 
if you're coming from a different country you have to select the normal csc which will of course wipe your data so if you live in a specific country which has already received an audio update and you're flashing that specific audio update for that country your device will stay the same there will be no wiping of data so i guess that's easy to explain and no one gets confused in the comment section below as you can see it gives you an option for restoring from samsung cloud or just from your old device they just hit next and then you can just customize a whole lot of stuff which if you are like a businessman you will not even like notice your phone can do this and all done and there you go guys that's how you install android 8.0 audio on your galaxy s8 or the s8 plus i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos like this please let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next one peace